so yesterday there was a mouse that ran out of our room and he was stuck in here with the door shut and we were trying to catch him and the little critter jumped down our <laughs> our intake for our heater okay there's a hole it's pretty enclosed there's a hole where it goes down to the blower and I guess he jumped down there because last night it was like there was a freight train in the house the whole house was shaking and it was the blower motor that was like something was inside it or it was loose or something so I think that little mouse which was about like this big jumped inside the blower motor fan and it was getting thrown about <laughs> so he's probably all chewed up in a bunch of pieces I gotta go find out go down in the basement alright so this is where the the mouse okay our vent was right there the little vent the air intake he fell in here there's nowhere to go there's there's two holes. There's a, a big hole here and there's a small one. He went down this one most likely. Fell down here and here's my uh, my filter. Okay, there's no way he can get out because the filter's in the way. So what he did, I just replaced this filter like a month ago. Look, you can see all of the foam that got blown around. He drilled a hole right through there. All This is all done in less than six hours. So he drilled a hole through the filter. Okay, can you hold that? Worked his way into into here, I guess, where the motor is. I don't know how he got into the motor, though, but we're going to find out. All right, there's my uh, heater right there. It's a Goodman. I'm not sure the model, but I'm going to take the cover off here. All right, so we took the cover off. And you can see he was trying to bite his way out of here right here. You can see all this. This wasn't like this the other day. So, yeah, he's making a mess in there. So he probably figured, okay, I don't know where to go. So he jumped up into the motor. Because <laughs> all of a sudden at 6 in the morning, I woke up to this uh, train sounding collision noise. So he must be in his motor. And you can see the filter, the air filter is right there. I mean, the, not, yeah, the air filter is right there. And that thing is where he chewed through to get into here to get out. All right, so the mouse tried to get his way out, but he couldn't because there's this is all enclosed metal. And so what he did was he jumped in there. And I know his body's dead down there somewhere, but I can't see it. So I got to pull this, this fan motor casing out. There's a seven millimeter or a quarter quarter inch ratchet take these two bolts out uh, there was a little sensor here that I pulled down with the clip and then this thing I think I have enough wire loom to get this out somewhat if not I can unplug this and the power is disconnected so I can unplug these uh, cables that I need to all right so I went and unplugged this cable here and then I'm gonna unplug this one on the bottom the gray one goes to the left orange to the right Okay, that's all connected to that. And that goes up. This blue one just came right out of here. See that? Right there. It says FS. And that's it for that wire loom. Oh, no, there's one more connector here at the top. I'll pull that one as well. So the big fat white one goes to the top. Okay, big fat white one is at the top. And then you got three white ones and they would be all white. So that's what I'm talking about. You gotta know, you gotta kinda label these before you pull them out. All right, just in case I forget, color Cool H has a black thick wire. Okay, it's the only one on the system. Uh, the bottom one, High, it says heat H. Heat H is the blue one. It's the thick one. It's the only one that can go to it. And that comes from the back motor, I guess, from the fan. And then you got this orange one to low heat. Okay. Same thing comes from the motor fan. And then you got this red one that goes to park. And I think that's about it. And so I just wanted to make get it all on video so I don't forget because I will forget very easily what goes where
And again, this uh, bottom black one down here goes to, to the right up here. Because there's two black ones, don't get them confused. This one goes to the right, the XFMRH. That line H goes from this wire loom here, and that's also black. Okay, so I got my wire loom over here off to the side and my thermostat cables off to the side. So this thing should be able to pop out. Got the two bolts out and this thing just kind of slides out fairly easy. And we'll see if we got a mouse. I hear something. Oh, there it is. We got ourselves a mouse. That's what woke me up at 6 in the morning, guys. See that little mouse? Oh, such a cute little guy, too. Oh, poor little guy, huh? So cute. Oh, got bounced around in there. All right, so we got the little mouse out. Cutest little guy. Right there. He's a sleeping. He probably was on that thing like a little, maybe, who knows, maybe he was walking on it, getting some exercise, and the thing kicked on and just threw him around till he was dead. But that thing sure made a lot of noise, woke me up at 6 in the morning. Thought we were having an earthquake or something. So I'm going to have to clean this off with some bleach, because I'm sure he's got some vomit and pee and blood and guts. Although he looks like he's all intact in one piece, so... Yeah. See? He doesn't look like he's missing any. His hands look kind of shriveled up. Mm -hmm. yeah. There he's upside down. I don't see any holes in him. His mouth looks like it's bleeding. Looks like he was taking a dump. Scared the crap out of him, literally. His feet are kind of chewed up. His fingers, poor thing. Oh well, problem solved. That's his uh, coffin right there. What? A little mouse. Why is he poor? He's dead. Yeah. Well, he sure went the wrong way, didn't he? <laughs> he should have went the other way. Yeah. Or he should have been jumping on this fan thing. That's for sure. And he probably got knocked out. Heck, I'm just glad this thing is not broken. It still spins. It only ran for a couple minutes because it woke me up right away and it turned off the heat. But it does stay on for like a whole minute. So he was in there for at least 60 seconds getting tumbled around. All right, so I'm going to, yeah, I see some blood squirted right there on this piece right there. And I saw some blood splatter around the ring inside. So I right there is some blood. <clears throat> and some blood on the, f the fins over there. So yeah, I got, definitely got to clean up some eight. All right, got it all vacuumed out with my shop vac down there. Got this thing all cleaned out and wired, wiring it back up right now. And um, at least I know I've never taken one of these one of these uh, fans out. It's pretty easy. It's not hard to do. So at least I'll know how in the future if this ever goes bad, this motor or the fan or anything. So yeah, pretty easy to do. Just don't be afraid of it. I know I've watched videos on this before and every system is going to be a little bit different. Some of them is going to have more wires, kind of not as pretty as this one. All right, got it all hooked back up. I'll put the covers on and make sure the thing works. And I'll show you that in a second. Here's the main shutoff switch. Turn it back on. Sure, the light comes on. Gotta push down the safety switch. There it goes, it's turning on right now. All right, just turned the heat back on just to test it out. It sounds normal now. I'm telling you, at six in the morning, this, this, the ground was shaking, the walls were shaking. Who would have thought that a little mouse, you know, a little three inch mouse, can make the whole house shake like that? By turning in that propeller. It's crazy. 
All right, here we go, all fixed up. So I, I should have just came out here last night, or yesterday, and just pulled this filter out so you get a, so a little mouse can get out. I, I just, in my mind, I thought, oh, he'll be able to find a place to get out. But yeah, if this filter's in the way, he, there's no way they can really fit through that little crack. So lesson learned. And that's it for this video. So if you ever have a mouse get stuck in your in your heater, <laughs> uh, you might have you might run into the same problem I did.